Oh, so I am going to be on a float uh, with rain masks, wearing the feathers for the first time. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, I go to carnival quite quite often, but this is the first time I'm going to be actually dressing up and yeah, really getting into the mix of things. So I feel like I would always like look and like see all of the amazing costumes and like think to myself, yeah, one year I'm going to do that, but I never really kind of got got around to it, I guess. So this will be fun. I think with carnival, it's like it doesn't matter what race you are, like, who you are, like everyone just comes together and celebrates Caribbean culture and the influence that it's had, like not just on London but the world. So yeah, it just feels like a celebration for everybody. I don't feel like I would be here right now if I didn't have that experience, everything that I went through in the group and um, how it made me into the person I am today. And like though that that many those many years of experience has led me to, I think it's going to lead me to be the solo artist that I was always meant to be. I think like being in a pop girl group um, and like obviously that the music that we did, um, yeah, I don't think I was really able to sort of, yeah, I guess express who I am, but um, now I guess the ball's in my court and I can do what I want. So it feels really liberating to do that. Um, that's not to say I didn't absolutely love what I did in the group, but I guess it's just a new sense of freedom. I think it's something that the pop world still really needs to work on. I think I'm seeing a change now because like, I can, I can, like, I have the power to change things, you know, within my own team. And I have done that because it's so important for me to see representation. Like I, for so long, I didn't see people that looked like me. So like, why, that doesn't have to be like that. Um, so yeah, like I'm always going to make a conscious effort to make sure that my team is a certain percentage black. Like why not? Um, but in general, I still feel like there's a lot of work to be done. I think if I hadn't have used my voice, like especially in times in the group, like if I hadn't have spoken up and said something, then it, nothing would have changed. So I do think that's really important. I do think it is a generational thing. I think um, it's kind of that idea of like not wanting to rock the boat and wanting to be grateful for how far we've come but actually like there's so much further to go and I do think this generation now is like we ain't take we ain't, we ain't, we're not taking that you know like we're just not um, so yeah it does feel like really empowering I actually cried when I saw that email come through because um, I think like I'm not doing things for recognition I'm doing it because like I want to do it you know and like especially with my own experiences and things that I see are happening um, like to other black people and like the black community and like I do it because I want to do it but to obviously get that recognition is an incredible thing and um, I think as well just seeing like how proud my parents were and like just little Leanne from High Wycombe and with a big old doctorate like it's just it's amazing. So my relationship with social media um, I love it because I love to interact with my fans like there's a, um, there's a certain app that I go on and it's like a group chat and I literally speak to my fans all the time and I love it. Um, but then at the same time, like I've also been in, in it when it's been toxic and um, like I've literally had to literally put my phone down and just not even look at it because it actually goes away when you do that. Because um, it is such a small little world, social media. But yeah, I'm pros and cons of it. Uh, I do think it's important to have breaks because, like I say, it isn't the real world, you know? Um, and just focus on what's in front of you and what's like now. I think it's really important to do that. I feel like everything that I experienced being in a group, like I was with my best friends, my sisters, and I had the time of my life, and I learned so much, and I wouldn't be sat here right now if it wasn't for the incredible success that we had. And I mean, there's always gonna be a part of me that is Little Mix, and I love that, and I'm proud of that. Um, and I really hope we do have a reunion one, t one year or one day because we're freaking amazing, to be honest. <laughs> I would say, girl, this is your chance, take it. Just let go of any doubt, let go of just anything that's gonna hold you back right now in this moment, just go for it and do what you do.